what is up guys? I am here with a brand new, completely new for 2021 motorcycle from Triumph. I'm actually the only motorcycle YouTuber who's gotten their hands on this. They said they were just gonna send it to me. I'm not sure why since I have like 170 subscribers, but they did and I'm only gonna say positive things so as not to make them mad, at least that's the goal because I want them to send me more bikes. So this is the 2021 Triumph T100C. This is a brand new, smaller, retro classic bike from Triumph. And they're actually calling this Ultimate Retro. Not sure exactly what that means, but I think we're gonna find out as we look at it. As far as I can tell, that basically means it's gonna literally look like an old bike. And I think it might even ride like an old bike. But yeah, this is completely brand new, totally new, right off the assembly line. This only has 19 miles on it, as you can see here. But before we get into all the technical details and all the specifications about this bike, the first thing I wanna comment on is just the overall look of the bike. It's obviously really beautiful, really sleek. Again, they're saying this is like ultimate retro, so I don't know exactly what that means, but in terms of looks, it looks really old, and it's honestly really beautiful. They're saying things like this seat, is classically designed. They say that about all their bikes, but in this case particularly, the seat is classically designed. Obviously it has a really small gas tank, like half the size of their other modern classics, but it looks really nice and really sleek. And yeah, it's got like the really old Triumph badge. This is super retro. Like some bikes are retro. This bike is really retro. Even some little things like the gas cap, like it's like super mechanical and how do you get this off? What the? It's like clicking. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like, it's retro. So when you come down closer to the bike, first thing you see is this is a kickstart. And this is all the bike has. It literally just has a kickstart. It doesn't even have an electric start on it. So yeah. And this is a carburetor. Wait guys, is this really a carburetor? Like, let me look at my notes here. Seriously, it's actually a carburetor? How did they even do that? Like, how did they pass emissions and all that stuff? Thought you couldn't even do carburetors anymore. Yeah, this is a real carburetor, 100% real. Per pretty cool, and as you can see, it's got a real air filter just right there for the carburetor, I guess. And there's lots of fine little touches, like right here, this is the gas. <laughs> you just pull that down and the gas comes through to the carburetor, I guess. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid to take this anywhere, to be honest with you. So we're just gonna go down that little uh, road. So, I'm not gonna lie. This thing sounds amazing. Doesn't sound like a modern bike, man. This sounds like an old bike. Wow, I, the gearbox is one of the worst gearboxes I've ever seen or experienced. It's so sloppy. And it only has four speeds. What are you doing, Triumph? Like, what? I was trying to be positive, but I just don't get it. How am I supposed to be positive? It's a four-speed gearbox, and it's almost impossible to hit any of those gears. But it sounds good, am I right? It sounds amazing. I don't know what this thingy is, but I've never seen one before. And the speedometer bounces more than uh, something really bouncy, I don't know. The mirrors vibrate when you go any speed, any speed at all. I'm not totally sure what Triumph was doing with this bike, but I will say, it handles really well. It feels light. It feels good. Again, kind of hard to get the thing in gear though. Also, just found this out. This thing has drum brakes on it. Drum brakes in 2021. And let me tell you, using them to stop this little bike feels like you're stopping the Titanic. Like, I'm not kidding you. The thing doesn't stop. Watch this. Ugh. It doesn't want to stop for you. I almost just ran a cat over. Listen, if you need a bike that can run a cat over, this might be your bike because uh, I think it would have successfully run that cat over. I'm not gonna lie. The clutch feels heavy. Very heavy. Um. It, but it's weird, it's not like Triumph just cheaped out on the bike because it's pretty much premium stuff. It's all metal and chrome and it all looks really good. But I have to say, for the experience of riding it, 
It's not good. Whoa, it does this weird thing when you just barely touch the throttle. Listen. What in the world? It almost dies. Let's see how fast it is. Hmm. Not exceptionally fast. Also, I just realized I did not put my chin strap on. This is a mistake I've made many times. And now my chin strap is just clanking my helmet. But it's all good. We're gonna turn around right here. The suspension, man, I didn't even say anything about the suspension, but wow. It um, feels like there is none. Like they just decided to not do suspension on this bike. I mean, it's there, watch this. <laughs> the brakes are so bad I can't even get the suspension to dive. This thing is uh, something else. But yeah, it's got a tall fourth gear. I'm only going like 35. I don't think that speedometer works. I'm not going very fast. And it's all just fourth gear. The whole thing is fourth gear. So we might as well just have one gear. Because the other gears don't really do much. But yeah, I've got to say, this is, without a doubt, the worst bike of 2021. The absolute worst. Like, I can't think of a worse bike. Hey, yeah. Hey, so I just got done reviewing the bike uh, that you guys sent me. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. I'm honestly like, you wanted it to all be positive, but there's a lot of negative stuff in there. And yeah, okay, yeah, I understand. I understand that, but there's definitely gonna be some stuff in there. Cause like the bike just kind of sucks, honestly. Okay, just cut it down, just cut it down. Even if it's like a minute long, just cut all the negative stuff out of it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I can do that. Okay. Thanks. Bye. All right. So I'm not going to lie. This thing sounds amazing. I will say it handles really well. It's pretty much premium stuff. It's all metal and chrome and it all looks really good. Let's see how fast it is. Hmm, exceptionally fast. The suspension, man, I didn't even say anything about the suspension, but wow. But yeah, I've gotta say, this is, without a doubt, the best bike of 2021. The absolute best. Like, I can't think of a better bike. <laughs>